What's up, Deep Sea Divers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play. This is episode 4, and I've just been making use of this awesome, awesome battery charger. I am in love with this thing. Um, at the end of, you know, last ep last season when I was talking about wanting a charger, this is exactly what I wanted. It's freaking phenomenal. The only thing I'm a little bit let down about is that it doesn't seem to drain power from your base, like, at all. I don't think it drains power from your base. I think this thing needs to drain power from your base. And two solar panels. Well, yeah, maybe two solar panels would be enough. But um, I kind of want this to... I want to worry more about power. You know what I mean? So, and right now, power is not an issue. And uh, I don't know. I feel like two solar panels, power should still kind of be an issue. But it's okay. Um, I went ahead and got crash powder. Now, I'm kind of sorry I got crash powder off camera. Because it's a really interesting uh, item. And there's a very specific way you have to get it. I will show you that at some point um, off camera. I mean, I'll show, sorry, I'll show you that at some point on camera, for sure. Uh, we're not going to need the habitat builder. We're going to need the knife. We're going to need that. Let's go ahead and grab some salt and a peeper fish. A couple things of water. And let's come on over here. We're going to go on a little trip today. We are going to... We're going to cure food, by the way. Whenever you cure food, it takes salt, but the, the, the item will last forever. Anyway, um... Oh, oh, really quickly, hold that thought on what we're going to do today. I got something to bring you up to speed about. Um, you guys told me that these acid mushrooms, um, you can, like, melee them. You can, like, hit them with the, with your, uh... Hold on. Yeah. You can hit these things with your knife, um, and get spores. And every acid mushroom you melee, you get, like, four spores. Now, I'm not going to actually do it because every time I've done it, I've gotten hurt and I don't know how to do it without getting hurt. But you melee one of these and you get four spores and then you can plant those. So every time you melee one, you get like four more, but you better have some like way to get your hit points back. It's not a lot of damage, but it's some. So that was a really good tip. Thank you very much, guys. Um, before we go, we are actually going to need that habitat builder because I actually want to make a health kit thingy in here. I'm not sure what it's exactly called. Um, it's pretty expensive, too. It's called Medical Kit Fabricator. And this thing's a little tricky to get on the wall. Um, can I not put it on that wall? Or I can put it on this wall. I can't put it on that wall? That's kind of strange. I want to put it on that wall. I don't want it on that on that corner walls. Um, I don't want it there, either. Nah, I want it here, damn it. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's just put it over here. This isn't going to be my permanent base anyway. Um, but I do want uh, health kits starting to come. So we're going to need five titanium. And I I went ahead and got a bunch of quartz, as you can tell. And uh, did some organizing over there. Nothing too crazy, but just something to get a little bit organized. Now, the way this med medical kit fabricator works, in case you haven't been watching the whole series, is every, like, I think 20 minutes or half hour, it'll it'll generate a health kit. So, there you go. Alright, so we're going to throw this in here. We're going to keep the scanner, the knife, we're going to need the flare, the food, the drink, and the batteries. As a matter of fact, I think I'll bring one more battery. There we go. Now, we don't have a lot of room. Uh, eventually, we'll be able to get an item called a... Um, I forget what it's called. It's something like a modification station or something like that. And then we'll be able to upgrade our fins. Once we do that, we're going to get rid of this Sea Glide. I really like the Sea Glide. I like it a lot. But I can't justify the uh, amount of room it takes. Okay. Batteries in. Remember, we have our, uh, our radiation suit, so we don't have to worry about the Aurora. And the island with the diamonds is right there. You can kind of see the the outline of it from here so we're gonna head that way and we'll skirt the, the bottom floor um to pick up anything we might want to grab on the way there uh, i'm not sure if i want to really take a lot of salt there's a machine um you can get for your uh for your base like it's like a water extractor or something and basically every every so often it gives you two things of water and two things of salt really really nice machine and once i get that i'll have all the salt i need gotta be careful down here all right. Pretty sure that's the that's the crash we've been at before. But let's uh let's take a look around. Cuz I'm pretty sure we did not get everything.
No, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Alright, let's take a look in here. See, this thing doesn't really work inside, does it? Alright, what do we got here? Oh, I was supposed to make the propulsion cannon. I completely forgot. Gosh darn it. Oh, well. Uh, Seamoth fragment. That's good. That's good. Two of five. Alright. Let's uh, bring this. Let's actually uh, put this as number four. And uh, let's get out and get some more uh, oxygen. And then we're going to come back. Remember how I said this thing, this Seamoth, uh, or this uh, the Sea Glide feels slow? It, it happens more when I'm inside than anything else. So. I'd really like to get the sea moth. Alright, let's go. We'll play around here too much. We gotta go get those diamonds. What's that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a little guy. Never mind. Alright, that's a battery charger. We don't need that. That's a propulsion cannon. We don't need that. That is a battery charger. We don't need that. See, once we get inside, look, we go slow. Isn't that weird? Now we've got an open, openable door here. And battery charger fragment. Yeah. The other thing we're looking for is not the battery charger fragment, but the um, plant shelf. Yeah, let's get that. Not the battery charger fragment, but there's another thing, uh, the, the, oh, that was my hand, I thought it was a fish. Uh, there's the, um, the power cell charger that we also want to get, eventually. And right here is one of these doors we need the laser cutter for, and that's why we're getting diamond. I think we've gotten just about everything in this wreck. I really want to go farther, but... Nah, let's go get diamonds. We'll come back here. We're going to have to come back here with the laser cutter anyway. Let's get back up and get some oxygen. Once we get the seam off, this will all be so much easier. Man, look at that planet. Look at that thing. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure a planet could not be that close to another planet. Without, like, them tearing each other apart with gravitational forces or something like that. I don't really know the science behind it, but I do know, like, big planets like that could not be that close. At least I don't think so. I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. What the hell do I know? But that's... I kind of get the feeling they couldn't be. Alright. Okay. There we go. Batteries for the win. Getting closer to this island. Yes, we are. Let's look around down here. I've never actually looked down here. Uh, stay away from him. There's a bunch of metal. It says basalt. Got some gold. Some more gold. We're going to need gold, but we don't need that much gold. What's that? Oh, Terraformer. I don't think I ever got that in my last Let's Play. Or, yeah, I did. I think I did, actually. I think I saw some... Yep. Some lithium. I've got to make the rebreather as well. Let's grab some more lithium. Don't worry, guys. We'll get diamonds. Hang in there. There we go. Just got one. I'm still going to show you the island, though. Oh, what do we got here? Terraformer. Terraformer's not that great, I don't think. Let's go get some oxygen. Come back down. Maybe I'll just show you the island now. Now that I got the diamond, I don't really need to go to the island, but that's okay. We came all the way out here. Might as well. Go ahead and grab something to eat and drink. Well, definitely to drink, possibly to eat. Oops, I just dropped it like an idiot. There we go. Drink, fool. There you go. Alright. 
go to the island. They got these little spider things on it, which are really freaking annoying. Gold. Way too much gold. We do not need that much gold. But we do need a lot of lithium. We're going to need at least five lithium that I can think of right off the bat. And probably more than that. Because I, I think you need the lithium for plasteel ingots, maybe? I don't really remember exactly what you need them for, but I know I'm going to need a lot. That was green, wasn't it? That was weird. Got some prongs down there. What the hell is this? Oh, magnetite. Cool. I'm going to need that. Yeah, magnetite's good. I'm gonna need a lot of it. And there's but there's better places to get it, but you can get it on this island if you need to. Alright, what is this? Oh Seamoth upgrade control oh, fragment. Whatever. That's probably one of those like little fish. That's a good one to get too. I know there's annoying spiders on this freaking island. can't go anywhere else. We'll have to get the main part of the island. Which should be right around this corner. Yep, there it is. Ooh, more magnetite. Oh boy, we are running out of room. What's that green stuff? Is that... Is that... Oh my god, uranium crystals. And yes, we can get reactors in this game. Freaking piranhas. Right, let's get on this island, shall we? I'll show you the little stupid spider things that are irritating as all hell. Is that scannable? Yes, it is. Cyclops engine fragment. Hells yeah! For those who don't know what the Cyclops is, it's like the ultimate... Big ass bad um, uh, submarine. It's like your ultimate submarine in this game. Okay, more lithium. We'll leave that there for now. Not sure what I need the most. Actually, lithium might be the the most I need. And yes, those spider things are irritating as hell. More lithium. Honestly, we probably need lithium more than anything. Magnetite would be good too. Lithium is easier to get than magnetite. We only have one more spot. Alright, let's just grab a let's grab a lithium. Alright, so that's the island, guys. And uh just like, just like I got underwater on the island, like the rocks that are on the surface, you just break those up and eventually you'll get diamond. So. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Alright, let's head home. Alright, we're back at base. I cannot... I just sit here and stare at this thing sometimes. There's something about the, the, like the overlay of the batteries as they're charging that is just... I don't know. Mesmerizing. I just, I love this freaking thing. I really do. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to our personal items and tools and let's go ahead and make the laser cutter. You need a battery, a diamond, and a titanium. Actually, what we'll do is we will take out one of these, one of these batteries that are almost empty and uh, use that one for it. Why not? Actually, I wonder if the laser cutter will come out because uh, my buddy Scott, who uh, leaves comments a lot, said... I, ch I should use empty batteries to make the items that you need to make. But here's the thing. I'll bet you the laser cutter... What, what's the battery? The battery is 20% uh, charged. Let's see if the laser cutter comes out 20 with 20% 20 charge in it. That would be interesting, right? It would make sense, too. And it is 100% charged now, so that's a, that is an oversight. Not a big deal, but just something. All right, so next thing we're going to make is the propulsion cannon. We're going to need... Actually, we're going to need another battery for that. So let's grab this one. 
And we are also going to need an advanced wiring kit, which you need gold and computer chips. Um, for the computer chip, we need the table coral sample. I don't think I have any. Um, let's drop some of this stuff off and go get the table coral sample. Just in case, this is not table coral sample, this is common coral sample, just in case you were saying, Kid, you have it right there? No, not really. All right, so in case you don't know where the how to get the the table coral sample, I'll, I'll bring you with me. Uh, do I have a battery? Yeah, but it's not a great one. It's okay. It's something. So what you're looking for is these little like um, these little things right here. You need a knife, and you're looking for these little guys, and you just hit them and pick them up. I'll grab a couple more while I'm out here. Okay. And that's it. Table coral sample. And now we have the propulsion cannon. Propulsion cannon will throw enemies away from us. Um, so it's, it's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, tools. No, we still need the advanced wiring kits. We need the computer chip for that. So computer chip. Advanced wiring kit. And there was something else I was missing. Maybe it was a battery or something. I don't know. Yeah, it was a battery. Yeah. Um, can we make another battery? I'm, Kind of running out of batteries here. Right, we're gonna need some more acid mushrooms. Uh, I'll deal with that off camera. Um, let's just grab another battery. Two will be good enough for now. We're gonna need these. We're not wasting anything. So, well, I got the health kits. All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's uh, let's go deal with the acid mushrooms. I'll show you how to replant them. Might as well. There might be a way to uh, uh, hit them without getting to like break them into spores without getting hit, but I have no idea how. And then there. Ah, they destroyed all the other ones. See, that's that's a problem too. Ugh. All right, replant these. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. They'll destroy the other ones. Hmm. Was that just too close? Did I break them too quickly? Did I do something wrong? I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll just. I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone was saying something like you could like make a bed and then place the acid mushroom in the bed away from other mushrooms. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll make like a special, uh, a special bed for the acid mushrooms. And then what I'll do is I'll pick them and I'll plant them one at a time, um, in that special bed of, you know, whatever. I might even have one. Let me take a look really quickly. Yeah, right here, like a plant shelf. I could probably put it in a plant shelf or something like that. Some kind of plant holder. That only, you know, I just put one in there. What the hell was that? Hold on a sec. What is that? A picture frame, huh? Huh. I should probably look at some of this stuff off camera. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get, grab some of these. And then we'll make some more batteries. We're going to need some more uh, copper for sure. So yeah, you just make like a plant shelf or something away. And then you just put the acid mushrooms in there one at a time. That's a good way to do it, and that, that way they won't, uh, they won't destroy any of the other ones. Someone told me that was gonna happen, I just, I don't know. I gotta learn myself, I guess. Propulsion cannon. Okay. So that bad boy is right there. We will put that as number five. No. Two. Yeah, that's good. There we go. So let's find something to your propulsion cannon away. Okay. There we go. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. It's not doing anything. Hmm, what did I do wrong? Oh, I guess you actually... You have to actually hit him, and maybe there's certain stuff you can't use it on. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and use our health kit. Try again. I hope it works on stalkers. I mean... I need it to work on stalkers and those sand sharks. What the hell is that? That's a piece of the sea moth. Beautiful. How many is that? Three or five? Yeah, sweet. Alright. Alright, we're gonna go... 
We're gonna go ham on some sand sharks, see if this works. You know, before we do this, let's let's get some oxygen. Wish me luck, guys. I just want to get one. Coming at me or what? There we go. How come it doesn't grab him, like, again? It grabbed him the one time and then it just didn't grab him the other time. Well, I wonder, like, does it not always work or... Let me know, guys. Is the, does the propulsion cannon, like, just not work at random times, or did I do something wrong there? Let's get some more oxygen give it one more go. Come on. Where are you guys? You guys are always around when I don't want you around, but... I'll take a stock or a sand shark. I really don't care which one. Oh, I don't like those guys. Those things are little leeches, like they'll grab onto you. Here we go. Sand shark. Let's go. No, I grabbed a fish. I don't. Maybe I never grabbed the sand shark. I'm gonna have to watch that again. No. Nah. Oh, okay, I got it. No, I don't have him. That was a fish. Okay, so I think what I did, guys, is I think I grabbed the fish by accident. And I thought I grabbed the sand shark, but I really didn't. And I know they're not sand sharks. They're some other kind of shark. I don't really know. But, um, whatever. I'm just gonna call them sand sharks. They dive in the sand. It's good enough. Alright, so I'm gonna do some research on the, uh, on the forms about the propulsion cannon. I mean, I thought the propulsion cannon would be good for me, but if it can't grab sand sharks, and... If it can't grab, like, um, stalkers, then I don't know what the hell it's good for, to be honest. I'd like to try and find a stalker. Oh, there's one. Nope, definitely cannot grab stalkers. What is this? Bi Ooh, bio rack. I already got that, I think. Alright, well, if it can't grab sand sharks or, um... Or stalkers, I really don't know what the Welcome propulsion cannon's good for. Um, so, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any uh, any experience with the propulsion cannon in this build. And let me know uh, like if I'm doing something wrong or if I've pretty much got the idea that you know it's not really that useful. Or if it is useful for something I'm not thinking about, let me know that too. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for episode 4. We'll see you next time for episode 5. Till then, take it easy.